What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video I'll be showing you step by step on how to draw Batman. We're going to get started by drawing in the upper brow. So in the center of our page we're going to move over towards the left side. Starting from the outside of the brow, come in. I'm just going to bend that down on the inside. Let's leave a gap and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside of the brow. I'm just going to curve up and then bend that out. Now we're going to move in and curl up the inside of the brow. Starting on the left, I'm going to curve in and pull that up. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're going to connect the inside of the brow with a curve. Start on the left, come down, and then back up. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting on the left side, we're going to step in and draw a half circle. Coming all the way down towards the bottom of the eye. And then just pull that up on the inside of the brow. Let's move to the center and draw a straight line coming down towards the tip of the nose. And then from here we're going to angle up and out. Go up towards the left, in towards the eye. Go back to the center, angle up and out towards the right. And then from the tip of the nose we're going to step down and draw the mouth. Let's move over to the left side, draw a curve going up and then down. And we'll add a bracket on the corners of the mouth, just on the outside. Let's move to the center, just underneath the mouth, draw another short curve going across from the lower lip. Now we're going to move back up and accentuate the brow. Starting from the inside of the brow, we're going to curve up and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving up and out towards the same height. Now from here we're just going to curve out and down towards the outside corner of the brow. Let's move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the corner of the brow, we're going to step out, draw a large half circle. I'm just going to curve down underneath the mouth, and go out and up on the right side. Let's finish off the inside of the mask. Starting on the left side, draw a straight angle line going up and out. Do the same thing on the right. Then from here, we're going to curve down and in towards the chin. Starting on the left, come down, and then pull that in. Now we're going to move back to the inside of the eye and draw a curve, coming down and then out towards the top edge of the mask. And now we're going to move back out and draw the side of the head going all the way up towards the tip of the ears. Let's start on the left side. We're going to start by going straight up, and as we get to the top, we're just going to bend that in. So right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by going straight up and start to bend that in to the same height. Now from the top of the ear we're going to draw a straight line coming down towards the tip of the brow. Pull that straight down and do the same thing on the right side. Now let's close off the top of the head. We're going to start about halfway down the length of the ear, step in, draw a curve going up, and then back down on the right side. Now going up to the tip of the ear, we're going to curve down and then pull that in on top of the head. We're also going to add a little bit of definition to the cheeks. Starting on the left side, curve in and then down. Now we're going to move down and draw on the body. Let's start on the left side, just underneath the head. We're going to curve out and down towards the hip. Line this up on the right, curve out towards the right, and down towards the hip. Let's close off the bottom. Starting on the left, come down the middle, and then back up on the right. Let's draw on the belt. From the bottom corner of the body, we're going to step up, draw that same curve to the top of the belt. And then we'll add the buckle. You need a gap in the center and draw two lines. One on the left and then one on the right. Let's move over to the left side and draw two straight lines side by side. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add the bat symbol in the center of the body. We'll start at the very top, we draw a half circle coming down and up. And then from the top, we draw a short line coming down. And from the bottom, we're going to curve out and then up towards the tip the wings. 
And then we'll round out the wing coming down. Let's start on the left, point out, and then down. And the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side. We're gonna curve up and then back down. I'm just gonna mirror this on the right side. Now back on the left, we're gonna curve up again and pull that all the way down towards the center of the wing. Do the same thing on the right, point up and then pulling that down in towards the middle. Now I'm gonna continue working down with the legs. From the buckle, we're gonna step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, let's go over towards the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, we curve down and then up towards the toe on both sides. Let's go back to the left and draw on the top of the foot. From the toe, we we'll draw a half circle aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right above there. And do the same thing on the right, going up to the top and then pulling that down. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom. We're going to take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel. Now we move back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the left hip, we're going to go out, round up the leg, and then pull that in on top of the foot. And we'll add the edge of the boot cuff. Starting from the top of the foot, we'll step up, draw an angle line going up and in. Now from here, we're going to curve down and then in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're going to line this up and go up and in, and then curve down and in towards the inside. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway down the side of the body. Start by curving out and down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right. We'll do the same thing. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. On the wrist, we we'll draw a small half circle, curving in and then back out. At the bottom of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And now we're going to add three fingers on either side, starting underneath the thumb. We we'll come down and round this out, going up around the bracket. We'll step down, curve down and up the second finger. And now the third finger, we're going to go out and up towards the head. We're just going to stop right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting underneath the thumb, on the first finger, second, and then again the third finger, we're going to go out and up. We're just going to stop right about there. Now from the top of the arms, we're going to draw on the bottom edge of the cape coming in towards the center of the body. So let's start on the left, curve this up, and then down in the middle, and then go up and back down on the right side. Now we're going to fold the cape over the shoulders. Starting back on the left side, we're going to step out, curve up, and then hook that in. Step back out, curve up and in behind the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting out here, curve up and in. Step back, pull that in behind the head. Let's move back down and draw on the edge of the glove. Starting on the outside of the arm on the left, we come in and then bend that down. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then we're going to add the spikes on the outside of the glove. Starting on the left, start with a straight angle line going up and out. Now from here we're going to curve down and in behind the side of the arm. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Start with the angle line going up, curve down and then in. Let's add one more, starting at the bottom, and go up and out, and curve down and in. Let's do that again on the right side, and pull that in beside the arm. And now that we're finished the body, we're going to move down and draw on the cape. Let's start underneath the second finger, and curve down and then out, and go to the right side, and do the same thing. Now going back to the left, we're going to draw a curve, going up, and then down in behind the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're going to line this up, going up, and then down. And we'll move in between the legs, starting on the left side. We're going to curve up and then down on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's our drawing of Batman. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.